East West Minerals NL is a Sydney-based public company listed on the Australian Associated Stock Exchanges. The directors of East West are Sir William Keyes, chairman, who is also a director of several other major Australian public companies, including FAI Insurances Limited and the Canberra Permanent Building Society. Rick Watsford, managing director, who is an experienced metallurgist with over 20 years of mining development, management and technical experience in small and large-scale mining operations. Norman Newitt, who is a chartered accountant and a director of other publicly listed mining companies in Australia. Cameron Glover, who has over 10 years experience in the mining industry and is also a director of other publicly listed mining companies in Australia. Graham James, a chemical engineer with wide experience in the mining and other industries for over 20 years internationally. The East West Group employs a team of well-qualified and experienced mining engineers, geologists and metallurgists who have managed in a very short period of time to bring into production a large base metals mine known as Caribou in eastern Canada. Caribou is the main asset of the East West Group and is located near Bathurst in the province of New Brunswick, Canada. The mine was brought into production at a total cost to the East West Group of about 50 million Australian dollars. It is currently treating over 2,000 tonnes of ore per day to produce about 350 tonnes of bulk concentrate containing zinc, lead, silver and gold. Reserves are expected to be sufficient for at least 15 years. Mining is carried out using a combination of mechanised cut and fill and open stoping techniques. Mining in the initial five mining stopes commenced from level two. Development of the decline to level three commenced shortly after commencement of production. A shaft will be installed for hoisting ore from level four and below. Ore is currently trucked via the decline to the surface and then by a short haulage road to the mill. The milling is conducted in a state-of-the-art concentrator which includes innovative concepts. In the control room, highly qualified metallurgists constantly monitor each stage of the milling of the ore with a feedback system which includes the latest in computer technology. The important stages of the milling process take us from the ore pile to the sag mill, the ball mill, the flotation circuit, a pressure filter and the loadout shed before transportation and shipping. Ore is taken from the stockpile by front end loader and dumped through a grid to the apron feeder at the entrance to the sag mill. The semi-autogenous grinding mill allows the ore to grind upon itself and reduce its size. 
This ground ore from the sag mill then feeds a ball mill, which still further reduces the size of the ore particles for concentration. The flotation circuit produces separate lead-rich and zinc-rich products. These are combined to produce a bulk zinc-lead concentrate, which also contains silver and gold. Flotation is the process by which valuable minerals, such as zinc and lead, are separated from the less valuable minerals. This is achieved by bubbling air through a chemically treated mixture of the finely ground ore and water. The valuable minerals attach themselves to the air bubbles and float to the surface in a froth which overflows the mixing tank. A pressure filter then dewaters the concentrate. The resulting filter cake is conveyed to the loadout shed at the rear of the mill building where it is housed prior to transportation. Trucking is coordinated with the daily turnover of the mill. So these large vehicles are continually transporting the concentrate to the nearby ports of Belle Dune or Dalhousie. It is from these ports that bulk cargo vessels ship the product directly across the Atlantic Ocean to Europe. Contracts have been entered into for 90% of the planned production of concentrates from caribou with three major European smelting groups. The caribou mine has considerable potential for the future, which can be summarised as follows. Increased throughput of ore from 700,000 tonnes per annum to 1 million tonnes per annum with a corresponding increase in concentrate production. Recovery of a proportion of gold and silver from tailings. Mining and production of gold from gold-rich areas of ore reserves. Production of a copper concentrate from copper-rich areas of ore reserves. Exploration and discovery of additional zinc-lead ore from adjoining or nearby properties owned by the East-West Group. Throughout the development of the Caribou Mine, East-West has had the support of the Canadian and New Brunswick governments and has given considerable attention to ensuring that the mine complies with and in many cases exceeds environmental requirements. The mine is directly and indirectly responsible for the employment of over 300 residents from the surrounding area. In addition to the Caribou Mine, the East-West Group owns several gold exploration areas in the USA. An alluvial gold area in Kalimantan, Indonesia, and massive zeolite deposits in western USA. The policy of the East-West Group is to identify mining projects which are close to production and, using the expertise available to it, bring these into production as soon as possible. In the immediate future, absolute priority will be given to maximizing profitability from caribou and then developing its further potential. <laughs>